G'day, thanks for tuning in. Let's see the inside of this Logitech wireless keyboard. It's a small compact keyboard, or small form, it's not necessarily a compact keyboard, it just doesn't have much on the end. So nice small size, wireless, so it's battery powered. A couple of batteries there, just um, two AAAs. Neatly tucked away. And then on the other side, really, you've just got these normal feet, a little bit of rubber pads on the front, I guess just to prevent that sleep slippage, so it'll, it'll stay nice and solid and not move around too much. And that's pretty much all there is to it on the outside, just a few plastic bits. There's a lot of screws on the back, so I'll undo them and have a look what's inside. Okay, so it's the back plate is just a super thin, flexible bit of plastic that sort of folds everything together. And then we've got this foil. So it's actually two pieces of foil with a whole bunch of tracks through it. So all of these tracks in here are gonna be conductive. So on each, each actual sheet has a different layout of them. And then there's, a, there's another sheet in the middle that just a little bit of foil that just separates them with a tiny little hold, hole punched out so that can go through. And the reason that's done is basically the two contacts sit right next to each other. They don't actually contact. And then when the button is pressed, there's a little rubber, a rubber sort of bit that comes out and that'll just push down on those two buttons and create that contact together. And that'll contact it. And there's a certain arrangement of this to, to only use a certain number of terminals out here. So however many that is. And then that just simply goes to the actual PCB, which will read the actual signals there. So a combination of different signals that are pressed, so pressing one button will give it a different combination of outputs on there, which will correspond to here, which will then really just be picked up by this little microcontroller here. And then the only other real big component on here is just the, the, the crystal oscillator there, which will determine, will give it a really nice clock, um, give the, the microcontroller a nice clock, and that'll then be able to determine the, the frequency this runs at and actually transmits as well. A couple of little resistors there and a capacitor, and that's pretty much all there is on this board. The other thing from, from the actual microcontroller, it would just come out here, and this little track on the side here, this is the antenna. So that actual little zigzag bit there would just be designed for whatever frequency this actually transmits on. Um, I think it's Bluetooth. So 2.4 gigahertz, I think that is. But that'll then transmit and then transmit to the computer. And then we just have two little contacts for the batteries. So positive on this side, negative on that side. And then the other bit of metal is just going to be in the actual case to provide that contact on the other side of the batteries. But that's really it. That there does all the processing, all the thinking, all the communication. And then this really sort of interesting foil design. That's where the genius is of the actual layout of all these and the connection of this. And then just digging a little bit further again is just sort of this this little rubber, very soft, soft rubber bit um, that just sits on there and actually provides that contact or, or pressure to squeeze those two contacts together. And then the front we've just actually got all the buttons then so this is just I think two pieces of plastic and then all these buttons are actually just sandwiched together so right now they're just flopping around there's no back pressure to them because that back pressure is actually applied by this by this membrane here so it'll always pop back as you, as you press it it then it then pops back so it's there just to provide just enough pressure to pop those buttons back in place But that's it, that, that's all there is to it. Very, very nice and simple, elegant design. If you got a sec, just hit that like button. And if you wanna see more of this sort of stuff, consider subscribing. And thanks very much for watching. Hope you learned something.